my name's Sally and this is Nancy, my granddaughter. Now I'm one of a team of freelance artists who work at Baltic doing workshops with families and kids and grown-ups. So we're not going to draw pictures of the allotment today, we're going to use the allotment um, to make pictures or make prints and I'm going to ask Nancy to help me. Perhaps you could start by um, digging up a carrot. It's almost like a little creature. Can I just say that I had a very young visitor the other day and I made them some little people out of vegetables. Here's the photograph. Nancy, do you think the leaves are quite nice as well? Should yes. we use the leaves? So let's, a good shape. yeah, we can... let's move on. Bring the fork. Wow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> My lettuces are like lettuce trees, but they're still edible. Do you think they might be good for printing with, Nance? Yeah, I think so. Right. Pick a few leaves, perhaps. Let's go down here a bit and we've got some beetroot leaves here which, what do you think? Do you think they might print? So, do you think we should get cracking with the printing now? I think so. Here we have our vegetables and we've got some potatoes. These, the ones that we dug up earlier, we wanted to save them. So here we've got some ones that we can't eat so these ones have sprouted and you mustn't eat the green potatoes. We have a carrot we can use the leaves as well and a tree spinach leaf, some lettuce, a beetroot leaf and a courgette. Okay so what you will need is a chopping board and a knife and make sure you've got an adult for this. So you'll need some paint brushes and some water, some scissors, some masking tape, some kitchen roll, and some paints. Any paint, any water-based paint is good, but these block paints are ideal. And some paper. So I'm going to do a blue leaf. Okay. And I'm going to mix the paint so it's quite thick. Lay my leaf on a piece of kitchen towel and then make sure that I get it covered. We are just experimenting today, aren't we, Nance? Because some of it may not work. I have tried a few things before. Let's lay it on the paper carefully and we just, could you just pat that down? Thank you very much. And if you can lift it off very carefully. Oh, that's come out rather nicely, hasn't it? Try that one. Let's put a roll of paper on the chopping board for now so you've got something to lay it on. Okay with this one I think I'm going to do it yellow. Just remember use a different brush for different colours or wash it out. A bit windy. Oh, lovely. Not too hard, but hard enough that it that the paint sticks onto oh, okay. the Beautiful! Aren't they coming out well? I'll just Clear the table a bit. Careful. I'll give you a fresh. 
I can use this. Okay. Oh, these are really lovely, aren't they? We've done some rather lovely leaf prints. Now, let's have a go with these other vegetables. Get an adult to help you with this. So we're gonna, I'm gonna chop it lengthways so we get a nice big area and you want to cut it very straight so it has a pattern that you can see through all of it. And go for a green. So we found that you can use it three times if you press quite hard. You can see they've got a bit more patchy yeah. with this one, so well, I That's might. interesting. So quite a nice technique is if you overlap them, so I might try that with this one. So as you can see we're quite a lot further and we're a bit messy here and we've been cutting into the potatoes and you can get some quite interesting patterns and once you get the hang of it you can make some really funny shapes. So you want to cut it nice and straight like I said. Okay so you can sort of go wild with this, you can do anything you want really. And don't forget this is a grown up who's doing the cutting with the knife. I think I might try white and do it over some colours. That yeah, that's a good idea. nice when uh, rem to overlap but remember that you have to let the layer before dry or unless you want them to mix the colors you could do anything you like obviously you might like to cut the bits out that you've done which work really nicely I always experiment before I do um, a workshop and these were some of the prints that I made earlier and you can see I have cut them out and I've actually added a little bit of paint for the veins of the leaves. And these ones you can see they're all over printed with lots of different designs and lots of different colours. Right, well, we've worked hard today, haven't we, Nancy? We certainly have. And uh, look at our lovely tablecloth. And it's the sun shining and we're sitting on the allotment and I can hear children playing so aren't we lucky I feel so lucky to have this allotment so let's tuck into our produce